I've done a lot of stories at the Senate, but never one quite like this. It's totally quiet here as the entire staff mourns their loss and tries to come to grips with what happened just a little more than 24 hours ago. Police say Jose de la Cruz was shot multiple times shortly before 2 a.m. Sunday before collapsing in the parking lot across from the Fredericksted Vegetable Market. De la Cruz worked in the legislature's business office. We all worked with him and we're grieving. We actually grieving because he was a great worker. Well, we're pretty much devastated. Uh, Jose de la Cruz has been with us for a few years and he was a very hardworking individual. Jose had just turned 28 and now almost one year to the day Maria Santiago lost a daughter. She has to bury her son. Somebody called me on the phone and tell me your son, if it's true, they shot my son. I don't know not more than that. I came out running. <laughs> The first thing I see my son in the ground. It's hit his family and co-workers hard who knew him well. He was a good boy. He never been in trouble. Been arrested. Never been in nothing. He gave up his time. He always said good morning to me and was very helpful and helpful to the entire staff. He was a good dad. Police on Sunday detained and questioned four suspects who matched the description of men involved in the shooting, but they were later released. I leave it to the Lord, the Lord will. A grief counselor was provided for the Senate staff Monday, but the young man fondly called Jose Lito by his mom and known to many as Chappie is gone forever. I love him and miss him. We are going to look at him as a beacon that would give us the impetus and the strength to move forward to make changes in our community. We just can't accept this type of behavior anymore. Erica Parsons, News 2.